One of the most stunning endings in WrestleMania history sees Stone Cold Steve Austin align with Mr. McMahon to regain the WWE Championship. WrestleMania 17 was in many ways the last stand for WWE's Attitude Era. Steve Austin and Triple H formed a two-man power trip as an impending invasion from WCW and ECW would forever alter WWE. So much talent in one spot would lead to the brand split and a new era, one of ruthless aggression. And at WrestleMania 20, WWE returned to its roots in New York City, proudly featuring two ring generals competing for the WWE Championship with Eddie Guerrero defending against Kurt Angle. From his arrival to WWE in late 1999, Kurt Angle was an absolute natural in a WWE ring. His rookie year would see him capture the European, Intercontinental, and WWE Championships, an astounding accomplishment. The Olympic gold medalist always used his three eyes, intensity, integrity, and intelligence, to either be a champion or to be competing for a championship. Angle lost the WWE Championship to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 19 in Seattle and looked for the opposite result at WrestleMania 20. Carrying months of resentment, Kurt looked to right the wrongs as he challenged for the championship. Despite coming from a legendary wrestling family, Eddie would not receive the path to instant stardom that his opponent did. Instead, he worked his way up from Mexico to ECW and then to WCW before finally earning a chance with WWE. It took him years to finally realize his dream, and once he had, Eddie did everything he could to keep it. In 2004, Eddie won a 15-man mini Royal Rumble that granted him a match against Brock Lesnar at No Way Out for the WWE Championship. The last man he eliminated? Yep, Kurt Angle. Still, at this point, the two appeared to be on friendly terms, even if the disappointment was obvious for Kurt. And at No Way Out in San Francisco, Eddie would achieve the impossible defeating Brock Lesnar to finally hold the WWE Championship. It was Eddie Guerrero's time. It was his time to show that he was a top performer. So I knew Eddie was on a roll and I, I knew my work was cut out for me. Angle was victorious in a triple threat match to be named the number one contender. On the surface, it seemed all was well. Two fantastic competitors who would battle to see who was better. But it turned out that Kurt Angle had been seething ever since that 15 man rumble. And with his match set, struck. Attacking Eddie while working as a special guest referee, Angle went ballistic on Latino heat. I felt the need to beat Eddie Guerrero, not just beat him, but beat him up and try to hurt him. The tone was set. This was not about competition or athletic pursuit. This was about a former champion desperate to reclaim his throne and a new champion who wasn't going to let anyone take his dreams away from him. Now it's time for you to put Kurt Angle in the silver medal position and find a way to retain Eddie Guerrero's WWE Championship at WrestleMania. But if you're not careful, Kurt's gonna grab that ankle and you'll have two choices, tap or snap. Brother, something's going on with Corey Graves' eyebrow, man. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at his eyebrow the entire time. Dude, I, dude, Eddie Guerrero is my favorite wrestler of all time. Like, like it's 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 probably AJ Styles, Eddie Guerrero, Shawn Michaels. That last spot, probably Daniel Bryan to be honest, but I don't know. Probably Rey Mysterio too. Oof. His opponent had no business in the ring with him. It's a lot of people. Basic mat wrestling sequences to feel his opponent out to see if he could make them uncomfortable. Eddie Guerrero knew that he had the technical skills to hang with Angle, and showing them off would be essential to his survival in the I have Kurt Angle. If Angle knew you were outmatched right away, he'd just play with you. Eddie being able to counter his way out of Angle's mat wrestling was his way of saying, I'm the champion for a reason, and I'm just as good as you are. I wish they would. Nobody able to grab control, both back to their feet in the standoff. Angle looking a little surprised that Eddie was more than capable on the ground. I wish they would give Eddie a new look. Like, he did have a beard at one point. Like, the little stubble on his chin. I wish they would give him that look. But yeah, I, I mean, my favorite my favorite wrestlers are probably Eddie. Eddie probably number one. AJ Styles number two. Kurt Angle number three. And Shawn number four. But, I mean, it changes most of the time. Eddie is probably, like... 
Like, that'll probably never change <laughs> for me. Eddie will always be my favorite wrestler of all time. He got me into wrestling. I love Eddie Guerrero, man. I love Eddie. And then, and then I became a TNA boy. And then I fell in love with uh, AJ Styles. And I mean, I've always been a big Sean guy. And always been a big Kurt guy. So when Kurt, when Kurt and went to TNA, man, I was like, my brother's about to cook. And cook he did. And then that opened me up to like Samoa Joe and Christopher Daniels and, and uh, Hernandez. Homicide. The Super Mets. Now, dazzle them with some of your lucha moves. <laughs> it's a little Nate. I just noticed that's a little Nate. Woo! I wonder if we can. So we can obviously they have they have real reps, right? But I wonder if like like if we have jet like they have Jessica Carr on here now. I know they have Jessica Carr. Like how little Nate is wearing the SmackDown shirt. I wonder if we could do that to like. The other refs, too. Just put them in SmackDown shirts. Buckle Bomb? Buckle Bomb! That's a new animation, too. That was clean. Oh, my God. I don't think Kurt Angle's ever in his life done a Buckle Bomb. <laughs> what in the world? That was sick. I'm getting my ass beat, though. Whoop. Get up. Get up. Get up. Suicide Dive! I hate that Suicide Dive animation. It doesn't have to be this way, Kurt. It doesn't have to be this way. Kurt! Get off of me. Into the barricade! Nope. Going for the knee. Ah! Bro, you know what sucks? Like, this match wasn't even the best match on the card. <laughs> and we'll never be able to play the actual best match on the card because of Chris Benoit. Oh my god! What a counter! He's so good, man. Dude, look at the white in his fingers. This man Kurt was actually trying to pull him down. That's so good. Luckily, Eddie was able to free himself from the situation and open up more offense for himself. An opponent like Kurt Angle was so difficult for this very reason. He was so good. Baseball slide. You to take big risks against him in hopes of gaining that ever so important control. Or drop kick. Do a flip. Oh my. Move. And appeared angle and set him up, moving out of the way the oh! from the top rope. And he went chest first into the barricade, taking all the air out of him. Snap air face scrap while you're both in the ring. Don't let him build any momentum. 
Okay, the camera angle doesn't look too bad in this on in this arena. Two. I'm number one, the bloodline. We the ones. And you the twos. That shit was so stupid to me. <laughs> Y'all the twos. <laughs> the hell does that mean? As Angle maintained his control, Eddie again grew desperate. Looking uh. for any chance to get Chop. Angle on the defensive. Woo! Uh. Perched on the Kick his ass, Eddie! <laughs> Sending Angle crashing to the mat. Looking to strike quickly. Oh my god. Eddie again went for Brooke, attempting his frog splash to Frogs. an angle. Each time Eddie took a risk, it failed to pay off. Was Kurt baiting him to force the mistakes, or was Eddie just rushing the opportunity? Eddie would need to make adjustments if he was going to find the victory. Bro, bro, if there was Story Creator, dog, if there was Story Creator, if they, if they ever bring Story Creator back, they better let you reuse all of these cutscenes. God damn it! Kurt! You motherfuck. You're not running away from me! Oh! Kurt, please! Ah, oh, my back! Chill! Oh my god! Flapjack. Oh, I can do that. Viva la raza, my man! Please. Please stop! Please stop! It's gonna be a count out! <laughs> stop! <laughs> Brother, that would have been terrible. Got him. No! God damn it! My leg! My leg! Clean drop kick. Another drop kick right on beat too. Move. Okay, don't move. Another low drop kick. Come on, do your signature. I don't think so. Another drop kick! Another drop kick! Stop rolling out of the ring, you loser! <laughs> Get up! Don't counter. Thank you. <laughs> Is this the new new uh, Three Amigos animation or no? Looks like the old one. In prime position! In prime position! Fox! God damn it! <laughs> ah! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. We we're on the wrong side, but it's whatever. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Oh my. Eddie was attempting to rally. An angle needed to cut it off quickly. Oh, is this when his shoe came off? Kurt means business when the straps come down. He had Eddie right where he wanted him. I watched this WrestleMania like a couple years ago. Courtesy of his trademark ankle lock. Eddie hadn't taken much damage to his ankle at this point and was able to survive the painful predicament with a timely roll up. German! So evenly matched. No one oh. maintain a dominant position. It's nasty. Both men were unsure of their path to victory, but Angle was not going to let that throw. Every cutscene, I'm ending up getting my ass beat. Again with another German suplex. Come here! Okay. Get off of me, man. You're hovering. Ah, oh, my face! Ah, 
shot to the back. Ah! DDT. DDT. DDT! Oh, he's in. Bro, I have to do three amigos. I don't have the. I don't have the shit for this. Stop, 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 you mother- Oh, you. <laughs> you thought. You thought. Three amigos, baby. One. Two. Roll over. Oh, he's in the drop zone. He's in the drop zone. Rock splash! Oh, god damn it! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! The trading punches. I don't know how to do this. Oh, 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 oh! oh. No! Oh, I missed! Oh! Drop kick! Ah! Wait, what? Wait. Oh, face down. Eddie had fought so hard to get that was back sick. <laughs> back to his feet, to put the oh. Oh, here we the go. In the blink of an eye, this Angle is the spot. To trap Eddie back in the angle lock. The exhaustion was obvious, but Eddie continued to fight. This is unique. The ropes. Was he going to tap out? Is that John Moxley right there? <laughs> Eddie reached into his bag of tricks and was able to roll forward, sending Angle crashing to the floor. Despite freeing himself from the hold, Eddie still seemed to be in a bad predicament. His ankle looked to be severely damaged, keeping him from following up with any attacks. Looking scared, Eddie began to loosen his boot, hoping to alleviate any potential swelling. Such great selling, man. What a pro. So good, man. Telling Eddie to keep it back. Don't you see this man groaning in, in pain from his ankle? Oh shit. The look in Angle's eyes as he went back into the ring was like a lion chasing down its prey. Who said, oh shit? Applied, was there ah. anything left in Eddie? The answer was yes. As Eddie would free himself from both his loose boots. Small baggage! One, two, three, he held the ropes! Right into a small package attempt by Eddie. The deadliest move in the business. With Eddie Guerrero finally tricking Kurt Angle, keeping his status as WWE champion intact. God damn it, and damn, he didn't even get to see the celebration? That's crazy. We've unlocked Kurt Angle, WrestleMania 20, which is one of the best, better, uh, Stages and Eddie Guerrero. It's good stuff.